Libras, welcome. This is a special timeless read for you. Oops, look at that. No accidents in tarot. <laughs> Ten of Cups jumped out. This is a reading uh, instead of uh, the normal heart spread. What I'm looking here for is your relationship with uh, your own relationship with love, basically. Um, kind of look at it that way. There's a lot of ways to look. I look at the first house, seventh house as an astrologer with the heart spread anyway. Just usually in the second uh, card is the seventh house. And that's uh, another way to look at your projection of your anima or animus where we put that. Uh, what we're looking for in a man or a woman um, for whatever reason, <clears throat> in some sense, to complete us. And to me, that's, I don't say that anyway cynically um, because I think relationships are how we grow and learn. Do check out the Soul Family Read that I do daily too if you're um, uh, spiritually and manifestation minded. It's more oriented towards that. And it's kind of a little bit in that spirit because here we're looking at yourself, not really your other person. And you're coming in, this is your energy in and around love and relationships. Your Libras, um, great energy to come in with. It could emphasize the fifth house in your natal chart or your progress chart, uh, something going on there. It could represent your son, uh, whatever um, uh, house that is in, particularly anything to do with the fifth house. Um, you're showing up here, this is now looking at it in relationship to, we're going to see here, um, your own uh, projection of love, you know. And, and normally you don't see this directly, you see it as the people that you've been bringing in, you know. Um, so if this is a reading normally for who's on your mind, um, you know, here, I, I'm not really looking for a specific person, it'd be some amalgamation. Uh, that represents the energy um, that you're putting out there. And usually it's not random. You know, there's usually patterns as an astrologer. I do have a special <laughs> for the normal $100. If you get me three past people, that's four charts, take me and get times. I mean, a lot of bang for your buck because really then can look for the patterns, not just talk about this particular relationship, which may or may not even work. Right? So that's what we're doing here. And this shows you being very strong um, here. To, I'll leave the blessing part of it out in this reading. I really think what's trying to show is a strong relationship here. So strong very well could mean uh, you're a manifester in some sense. Um, that kind of thing. Um, someone that uh, is outgoing, has Leo energy. Someone you could say might light up a room. Someone that's not afraid to, uh, you know, see she's just sitting with a lion like it's nothing, like a little kitty cat. So someone that's got just kind of a fearless nature, you know, a tomboy if you're a girl, um, you know. Now, I'm going to say this is your person. I haven't seen it till just now. I'm going to hold it up. <laughs> I thought you see it. The star. Okay, number one, you got two major kana, which in a reading with your person, there's meaning. Uh, but here I think there's deep meaning. Uh, what this means, these two are always relating, one and two. The you know, seventh in the first house, you know, you and your person here. You and your own projection uh, of what you want in terms of love and relationship. Um, I get the feeling, this is like it's looking back at you. And I think like basically you've got it like down. Whatever you're doing, it sounds like it's, it's working here. I mean, from what I'm seeing, uh, if we look at this as uh, coming back to you, I mean, you could look into this. I mean, also, these are opposites. You've got the fifth house, and you've got the eleventh house. You've got Aquarius, and you've got you've got Leo over here with strength, and the Aquarius with the star card. They're opposites, so opposite energies. Very well, it could be opposite uh, in your chart. Or anyway, what's going on? Everyone has Aquarius opposite Leo, obviously, in a chart. So what do you have going on there as a Libra. You may even have personal planets and uh, uh, possibly in Leo. <clears throat> that could make a big difference here. Your Le Libra sun's in the fifth house, something like this. Um, it kind of, it's a big confirmation. It's like that staring back at you and I could see this kind of as a spotlight too. It's like whatever you're doing, you're kind of showing yourself off and you're feeling really good about it, very natural about it. And I think it's like just totally working. I, I just get this as like manifest, manifestation city, manifestation out. Like uh, uh, 
some kind of master manifest manifester. Now this is you. Uh, normally it's going to be you in relationship to your person and talking about how you actually feel about the person once you're kind of in a relationship with them. Um, and in this place, it's how you're feeling in relation to your own projection. And with the Page of Swords, there's a humbleness there. I speak, I think like in the way you speak to yourself, because I also got to see this too. It's like the higher self. It's also part and parcel of who we would pray to. Uh, when we talk about manifestation, you know, we're attaching some belief, whether you call it God or source, you know. Um, and this to me shows a really nice uh, a humbleness, but a very directness. So this somewhat, I mean, I get the feeling with the strength in the page of swords that I'm talking here um, um, to Libras who are actively manifesting or spiritual people. Once again, you know, I'll put a link to this whole family read in the description here. Um, but it's a daily read for just kind of manifesting spirituality, uh, light workers, healers, something like this. I mean, that could be you here. I mean, this is energy. Maybe you're younger. You know, I always say it's the youngest strength uh, card I've ever seen, and the youngest woman. And certainly this page is very um, young. And you know, it shows a little coyness, too. Like you're looking back at your strength here. Um, so you might be kind of new at this, but like maybe I could say a natural. Maybe you took to it very quickly. Well, I mean by took to it the spiritual path. Wow. I, guys, I, I just got to tell you, this is incredible. This is, uh, this is not anything to do with a choice here. This is, again, you know, your own uh, sense of projection that's looking right back at you saying, this is your manifestation. I don't know. There's no, only caution would be often right on my Facebook page. You join my Facebook page. Where I write a lot about crazy stuff and cross post everything, you know. Um, you know, you... Um, um, arrows can become, your your uh, thoughts can become like arrows that hit their mark before they're even flung. It's like you have this kind of ability maybe to manifest. There's a precision here. And there's a genuine like humbleness here too. I think that it's a page of swords. Like a, a child that could surprise you with their wisdom and you know, wit and intellect. Um, matureness. And here it's just being balanced. Two of Pentacles, you're, you're balancing things big time. So I, in terms of manifestation, that's what we're talking about. In terms of projection, your anima, your animus, what you're trying to manifest. This is say, saying back like, I don't know, should I even go on? It's like, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Now what else can we get, Spirit? And the enlightened mode, so it serves the greatest good. Shuffle a little bit, get some energy on this, because um, well, all the good reading is, is not going to go south on here. You're doing the right things. I mean, it's reading really can't go south. You know what I'm saying? It's just reading your relationship with love, you know? There's no going south. It's just getting insight. We're asking spirit, name, light, and love. So that serves the greatest good. Or what is helpful to us here. We don't want to describe the situation, spirit. We want to, um, some depth here as usual, okay? I think that was really helpful to acquaint leverage. In terms of love and romance, relationship, manifestation. Okay. Um, I, I, you know, I feel like I'm talking to myself here, but this is normally this is uh, spirit's advice for you in relationship to your person. Like how best, how I read this, how can you best interact with this person in terms of this relationship? So this is about how best to interact. And you know, I think it's like saying you can lighten up, you can treat this like it's your friend. Um, there could be some sense of not being uh, not being too serious. Let me see what over here is. It's, this is the complex here. The number six card gets complex and this is reading here. Um, uh, but this could also uh, be advice about friends, being around friends, going out more. I, I get like, it's like somebody's in my head going, tell them, tell them, tell them. And it's like, you know, uh, I've said this several times. It's like Neo, follow the white rabbit, you know. I'm not necessarily saying follow the white rabbit, but fuck off. There's a white rabbit, follow the white rabbit. <laughs> but like if a friend says, hey, 
let's go out or come over and join us and normally you're like do it I think that's what that is just do it you know um, I kind of get the feeling you might anyway maybe just extra point in that way now this we're not going to do reversals here so this is the advice from spirit normally for your person in the relationship with you but here your anima you know, guys, I just got to tell you, how solid could this be? You've got the uh, Ace of Pentacles under the Two of Pentacles. It's like, to me, it's uh, your uh, spirit, your higher self, your guides, your angels, however you want to look at it. Um, they're really trying to tell you here, you got it, and we got you. That's how I'm here. You got this, and we got you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, we got you. Two of Pentacles, you got this. I mean, solid as hell. Um, I wonder if you have someone. Uh, you probably have someone in the in the crosshairs if you're looking at the heart spread. Yeah. Well, remember, you're manifesting. So the main thing I can tell you at this point is like it, at this point it's got to feel right. Like you're probably feeling pretty good with the strength card with the page of swords. I think also it's about like you can really be yourself. You feel like you can say what you need to say. You don't have to hold anything back. But you're not saying it in, in an obnoxious way or an aggressive way or an offensive way. You're just saying what you feel like saying. And, you know, you're a Libra. So normally, Libras don't go around being obnoxious. That's kind of what it means to be a Libra. Um, you're just, maybe you're peop you might seem more direct uh, and maybe open and then... Um, people might normally kind of think of as a Libra energy. I think this goes really well, Three of Cups. Now, this is your main advice card from Spirit. This is in the crux of the heart spread. Normally, this is the advice for the relationship of the two people as a whole. Here, it's advice about this integration, uh, improvement, refinement of, refinement of this projection of the anima, animus. This, uh, clearly, I think you are someone manifesting. Um, and I don't know, it seems like you're just going perfectly with the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands. I'm getting here like you're going to meet this fire person, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sag uh, person. Um, Leo might well be the one here. It's definitely feeling like that kind of fire. Definitely fire. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus stink, guys. And male or female, someone very beautiful. Someone a little bit older than you, I think, Leo. A little bit older than you maybe more than a little bit older than you someone you might think of as being a little more substantial honest to god honest to god Libras, if you were going now i'm trying to manifest someone who's abundant well you all not only manifested that you manifested someone who's hot you know that's what's telling me here um, because with, with the advice from spirit here it's almost like i see this reassurance and it's coming between the ace of pentacles and the three of cups so it's really okay to be yourself. I think I said that at the beginning, you know, with this Leo energy, the strength energy, you know, you're, you're not afraid to be yourself. You know, fifth house, that, they're just not like that. They're the ones that get on, they don't have great stage fright, you know, and maybe that's even more here. And you may be, there may be a group of people involved or something. It's just kind of saying loosen up around there. Um, don't afraid to be yourself here with the page of swords say what you mean mean what you say doesn't matter um, and then to just kind of you could even blow it out a little bit <laughs> kind of get that like maybe you need to kind of really loosen it up blow it out a little bit and kind of have some fun um, wow outcome nine of uh, wands and that's coming over the queen of wands yeah, um, ace of cups huh very different uh, outcome, and it's a little bit. I'm going to give you a little different, maybe, um, interpretation of nine of wands. It is the wounded warrior. Um, so, uh, and this is remember, this is a different kind of reading here. But um, you know, you there may be a sense to you with the nine of wands that you're showing up so strong here. But there's something. There's one more action. Those are actions. That's the key. One more action you have to take, and you're going to get. Your ace of cups now that's the final outcome for this heart spread Libra and I I've never seen such alignment 
um, there's this one more action you have to take and guys the action might be and I kind of feel a little bit projecting because I feel a little bit I have a great relationship it's not like that but I feel this energy like I'm right there with this nine with this nine of wands you know because it doesn't have to be you're wounded it has to it's pouring it on you've done everything you can you're kind of like I don't know what else I can do but you're kind of thinking I know there's something I just got to think of it and I think what it is is just kind of open up and really live and really let loose um, that's really coming on strong um, you know get a little drunk and dance on a table with a lampshade on your head or something you know um, in a safe environment with supportive and loving friends of course guys of course so thank you for joining me today don't be afraid to like or comment especially love your comments uh, it's been kind of a difficult read for me this week it's been a difficult week and it's like not, people aren't really responding to it I love this I'm trying to read as best I can uh, you know so many times when I work with people they want to know about this narcissist this narcissist I call them narcissists they're probably not when I'm listening to the stories and I'm like trying uh, why don't we try to work on something about advice for you know how to uh, get out of this pattern of being unavailable and abusive men and um, you know that's why it's kind of what this reading is about you know and here you're just like doing so well it's another way to look at this it's like this is the universe telling you let's say through me I'm trying to be a hollow bone just do it <laughs> pull the trigger pull the trigger Believers.